Everyone knows the tale of Beauty and the Beast and how the story ends. No spoilers here. But what happens when the main characters are one and the same? Well, take a look at our list of 10 most beautiful dog breeds and find out what happens when Beauty is the Beast. You're watching Animal Facts. Number 10. Shih Tzu. Let's we'll start our countdown with an adorable beast that's named after another beast, the Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu means lion dog in Chinese, and it's easy to see why they were named after the king of the jungle. This toy breed has a stocky little frame, round face, big dark eyes, and a thick luxurious double coat that looks like a mini version of a lion's mane. The Shih Tzu comes in an assortment of colors, including varied shades of white, black, brown, red, brindle, liver, gold, silver, or party. A combination of two or more colors. Oddly, the coat color of those with black skin on their lips, nose, and pads is the same as their actual hair color, while the coat color of those with blue or liver skin is determined by the skin pigment. For example, a party colored pup with a brown and gold coat and blue skin is categorized as blue. When it comes to grooming, a Shih Tzu's do can be done in any number of ways. For owners that prefer a low maintenance style, a short fluffy coif that can be dressed up with a barrette or bow is a go-to choice. Others may prefer a longer length that can be pinned up in a ponytail or top knot. If their hair is a bit longer, your Shih Tzu fur baby can wear a different style every day of the week, featuring an assortment of accessories. Without regular maintenance, a Shih Tzu's lovely locks can become a matted mess. Although they must be brushed and groomed regularly, particular attention must be paid to their faces. Shih Tzus are particularly susceptible to tear stains, bacterial growth caused by accumulation of tears on the fur that results in matting or stains. To keep your Shih Tzu's facial hair healthy, it is crucial to keep your pup's facial hair cut short. If he or she does get stains, you can use hydrogen peroxide or over-the-counter stain solution to remove them or add white cider vinegar to their drinking water. This will change the pH of your dog's tears and stop stains before they start. Number 9. Siberian Husky With a lush, double coat, muscular frame, and piercing eyes, the Siberian's regal, wolf-like appearance is the perfect balance of strength and beauty. Their physical characteristics are a direct product of the area where they originated, Siberia. Huskies have a thick, fluffy double coat consisting of a dense undercoat and a longer top coat made of short guard hairs to protect them against frigid arctic temps and releases heat in warmer weather. Siberian Huskies vary in color and markings. Common color combinations include black and white, red and white, and gray and white, but some are solid white. While facial markings run the gamut and include spectacles, masks, and other patterns. They have an intense gaze that is further enhanced by their almond-shaped eyes. Eye colors include brown, black, blue, or party-colored, which means each eye is a different color, like those of the late great David Bowie. Huskies are heavy shedders, so they should be groomed at least twice a week. During their shedding seasons, which occur in spring and fall, they should be groomed every day. Daily brushing and combing will prevent matting and allow the new coat to grow properly. Number 8. Yorkshire Terrier. Next up on our list is the ever popular Yorkshire Terrier. These cuties are the quintessential toy dogs. For a breed that weighs in at no more than 7 pounds, they are graced with cherubic faces, gorgeous coats of steel blue and tan hair that are to die for, and more than their fair share of attitude. When it comes to grooming, you should pay special attention to the type of hair your Yorkie has. Most Yorkies have coats that are thick, silky, and very much like human hair, but some have double coats, coarse or fine hair, again very much like humans. Be sure to choose shampoo, conditioner, and styling tools suited for your best friend's hair type. A Yorkie's coat should be brushed once daily, twice if they have longer tresses. Styling your canine's hair will significantly up their adorability factor and allow you to be creative, express their personality, and set your pup apart from the rest. Popular styles include high ponytail, top knot, 
double ponytails set above each ear and the close cropped teddy bear cut. Since bathing your fur baby too frequently could strip their coat of natural oils, you should adhere to a strict bathing routine. Yorkies that fluctuate between being inside and outside will likely require a weekly bath, while those that never venture outside might only need a bath every two or four weeks. Like Shih Tzus, Yorkies are also prone to getting tear stains, as are other toy breeds, so refer to the tips mentioned above to prevent or remedy this condition. Number 7. Alaskan Malamute If you love a beautiful dog, have a heavy-duty vacuum cleaner, and don't mind hard work, then the Alaskan Malamute is a dog for you. The Malamute is a strong, sturdy, double-coated arctic canine that is genetically similar to breeds such as the Siberian Husky, Samoyed, and Canadian Eskimo Dog. Just like people, each Malamute has its own unique combination of traits. Some are heavy-framed, while others have a more delicate frame, and their odorless coats can come in short and downy, long and woolly, or somewhere in between. As a matter of fact, Malamute fur does not hold dirt, and is so soft that you can donate it to yarn shops and they will spin it into yarn. Classic Mal color pairings include shades of black and white, gray and white, red and white, sable and white, seal and white, and sun and white. Their tails are fluffy, full, and curve elegantly over their backs in typical Arctic breed fashion. Bathing and grooming a Malamute takes time, patience, and a well thought out plan. A home bath is great if you have a wash tub big enough to accommodate your 75 to 100 pound pal, but if you don't, you can go to a professional groomer or a self-serve dog wash. Since mouths have very thick coats, make sure to work the shampoo in so that it penetrates the fur completely, then thoroughly rinse it out with warm water. Next, shroud your buddy in towels and soak up as much moisture as possible. Finally, grab an industrial strength dryer or blower to finish the job. Before you start this necessary but time-consuming task, be sure to clear your schedule, because it's going to take a while. Do you prefer to bathe your best friend, or do you take them to a groomer? Number 6 Kali Want to know the truth about Lassie? Well, here you go. Spoiler alert. Lassie wasn't a lass. She was a lad. But it was easy for movie studios to fake out the puppet because she, um, um, he was a collie, one of the most beautiful dog breeds around. There are several types of collies, including smooth, rough, border, and bearded collies, as well as the Welsh Sheepdog. In this video, we'll be focusing on the smooth collie. Collies are medium sized with small eyes and angular facial features, framed by a thick mane that looks rather angelic. Their coats are long and swish with such body and volume that when they move, it's with a lightness as if they're walking or running on air. Coat colors come in various combinations of black, tan, white, red, sable, blue, merle, and sable merle. Most collies only need to be brushed once weekly and twice a week during the shedding season, which occurs in mid to late summer. At the close of each day, check your collie from head to toe and use a fine tooth comb to remove ticks and debris. To keep their fur silky and tangle free, use a spray bottle to mist his or her fur with water, then gently pick out any knots or mats. If all else fails, use round nose scissors to trim the problem areas. Number 5 Golden Retriever It can be said that the Golden Retriever is the golden child of the canine world. Beautiful on both the inside and outside, its sweet, gentle nature, intelligence, and easy trainability makes it one of the most sought-after service dogs around. As their name implies, a Golden Retriever's coat can fall anywhere on the spectrum of shades from almost white to dark gold. Like most of the other breeds on our list, the Golden has a double coat that keeps it warm in the winter, cool in the summer, and repels water. The fur of a Golden is thick, wavy, and should be brushed at least once a week to curb excessive shedding. Brushing will trap or remove loose hairs before they fall out and coat the entire house. When grooming dogs with long coats, it's best to use a slicker brush. 
This type of brush is covered with bare or rubber tipped pins rather than bristles and works great for penetrating mats. Afterwards, use a bristle brush to smooth out their lovely locks. Number 4 Samia with its dense white, double layered coat, gorgeous mane, and fluffy tail, the stunningly beautiful Samiad could easily be mistaken for a giant powder puff. Just ask my friends over at Yeti's Place, and there's a link in the description. Samiad fur has a texture similar to Angora and can be used for knitting as a wool substitute or to make fly lures for fishing. As with the Malamute, caring for your Samia's coat will require lots of time and patience. Brushing and bath time will depend on several factors, including your dog's environment, activity and training, and weather conditions. Samia should be bathed at least twice yearly. If your Samia hangs out in an area with no grass, then you will need to brush him or her more frequently. One way to reduce the need for a bath is by washing their feet after outside play, and rubbing their coat with a damp towel every day, and then drying them with a Turkish towel. When done immediately, this routine is also great for removing urine stains. It is easier to keep a semi clean in snowy weather. Each time it snows, you can let them out for a snow bath. When they roll around outside, the snow will rinse away any soil or debris that is accumulated. A feature that is unique to Samiads are their smiling faces. Their curved mouths give them a playful, friendly expression that is quite charming but serves a purpose, to stop drooling. The function is very important to Samiads living in Arctic climates since any liquid, drool included, instantly turns to icicles in below freezing temps. Number 3 Dalmatian Let's face it, Cruella de Vil may have been the most wicked Disney villain, but she had exquisite taste. The Dalmatian is lean and draped in a delightful cookies and cream coat. Dalmatians are born with solid white coats, although spots are present on their skin. In about three or four weeks, the first spots appear, and like snowflakes, no two Dalmatians are alike. Each coat has a pattern of spots that is unique to that particular pup. Their spots are usually black or brown, but can also come in rare colors like brindle, blue, lemon, orange, mosaic, or tricolor. Do you think canines look better in patterns or solids? Most Dalmatians have short coats with dense, fine hairs that are shed constantly, easily penetrate fabric, and are difficult to remove. Those with long hair are less prone to shedding. Markings aside, another unique Dalmatian trait is a small amount of oil in their coats helps them stay odor free and cleaner than most breeds. They should be groomed on a regular basis but are active participants in the process as they devote a considerable amount of time licking and cleaning themselves. If you have more than one Dalmatian, they will also groom each other. Number 2 Afghan Hound If you like a tall, leggy blonde, then the Afghan Hound is the dog for you. This breed is the supermodel of the canine world. From its slender muzzle, to its long swan-like neck, to its fierce runway sachet, the Afghan is always camera ready. Afghans have a sumptuous coat of fine silky hair that floats about with their every move. It's basically the canine equivalent of a human hair flip. And although the most common coloring is golden or blonde, they can come in white, black, red, brown, and every shade in between. To keep your Afghan's coat clean and healthy, a weekly bath is recommended. It is important to make sure you shampoo, condition, and rinse their hair thoroughly. Use your fingers or a rubber curry brush to penetrate the coat and work the shampoo in, then rinse it out. Apply the conditioner and rinse again, making sure all product residue is removed, then towel dry. Use a stand dryer to straighten the hair and achieve the smooth finish. To avoid hair damage, an Afghan hound should never be brushed when his coat is dry or dirty. Honorable Mention Poodle Okay, we know you're dying to know what number one most beautiful dog breed is, but we're going to keep you wondering just a few seconds longer with our Honorable Mention the Poodle. 
Poodles are the rock stars of our list. I mean, come on, with those curls that can be shaped in virtually any hairdo from a mohawk to a fro, we feel that it is our duty and obligation to honor this breed with their willingness to spot these creative hairstyles and give props to the people who groom them. Rock on, Poodle Dudes! Number 1 Iris Setter who says blondes have more fun? Not us. Our top spot belongs to the Irish Setter. Setters are smart, playful, affectionate, and undeniably stunning. Everything a beautiful dog should be. The Irish Setter has a moderately long double layered coat made up of fur that is rich red or chestnut color with natural feathering on the ears, chest, legs, tail, and body. They are a lean breed with a deep chest and small waist. You should brush your setter up to three or four times a week, following the grain of the hair. After brushing, use a wide tooth comb to detangle the hair and get rid of any mats you may have missed when brushing. Every three months, use your finger and thumb to pluck excess hair on the head. Use trimming scissors to thin dead hair on the body, ears, feet, hocks, and tail. Bathe your buddy at least once or twice a month, depending on how and where they spend their playtime, and be sure to use a conditioner to replenish oils lost in shampooing. Use a handheld dryer to dry your doll's coat, but be sure to keep the dryer in motion to avoid burning the skin. If you had to choose, which would you prefer, a smart pup or a beautiful one? Well, I think it's beautiful that you made it to the end screen. You like this video, so here are a few more you're sure to enjoy. Smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to not miss the new videos I put out every week. And as always, catch you next time.